Dave Hirschman, AOPA Media. And I'm Jessica Koss, I'm in a pilot at Garmin. And we're here to talk about the uh, G600 Garmin cockpit that's been retrofitted to this CJ2. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. Jessica, you flew this plane both before and after the retrofit. What's it like? What's the experience like? Has it changed? I think the biggest difference is that now you have a completely all Garmin integrated solution in the CJ2. What does that mean for, for pilots? Is it, a, is it less workload? It's a significant workload, workload reduction as far as um, single pilot operations go. Right, and I mean, flying a 400 knot airplane by yourself, is, is, is there's a lot going on there. I mean, does it provide the, the situational awareness to keep up with all that? Yeah, I mean, I think you have these two huge 10 inch TXI flight displays with synthetic vision and dual GI-275 backups also with synthetic vision and those beautiful GTN, dual GTN XIs. So I think it really adds a lot of situational awareness and configurability so you can set the cockpit up really how how you prefer to look at it. The part that was most impressive and really um, surprised me the most was the go around. The, the, uh, what, the, what the go around process is like in this airplane because usually that's a pretty stressful thing. You know, you gotta power up, flaps, gear, flaps in that order, re-engage the autopilot, get it in the proper mode. Yep. And, um, and it's, it's all done at a really high workload, stressful time. Go around. Let's go ahead and do that now. Go around. Yep. Power up. Power. So you automatically sets go around power for you. Yep. And we're going to do flaps here. Be ready on the flaps. Flaps look. Flap speed's good. Okay, we're cleaned up. That's amazing. How is, the, how is that process different in this one? Yeah, I mean, I think what's really unique to this cockpit is, as you saw, you push the go around button, cleaned up the airplane, and we were pretty much all, already on our way to the missed approach point, and you didn't have to really command much anything else beyond that. And again, like as you said, it's such a very high workload time for a single pilot. And so we've taken a lot of those things and, and really reduced pilot workload in small areas, such as coupled go around or even um, with things like under speed protection. All right, now we're coming up on the part where you want me to, to sit on my hands. Is that, I is do. that correct? Okay. I, I, your training is going to take over. When that stick, stick shaker goes off five to 10 knots bef uh, prior to stall speed, um, you're, you're going to want to do yeah, something. I can tell I'm getting unhappy already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 140 knots descending, holding altitude at 14.5. All right, pitching up 10 degrees, 110 knots. Oh, this is uncomfortable. Airspeed. Oh, my goodness. You're killing me. Okay. Airspeed. Now we get the enunciation. Okay. The autopilot yep. pitches forward. 100 knots. Airspeed. And is it just kind of, is it going to kind of hunt like this? Yep. Airspeed. So it's going to enunciate airspeed every five seconds. And you can see USP is airspeed. enunciated. And it wants to ref come back up to airspeed. the vertical mode. It wants to keep us above, away from the ground. You know, I'm used to thinking of stick shaker as disengaging the autopilot and yeah. you're on your own. And this one, tell me about how it works. Yeah, so the stick shaker activates five to 10 knots prior to stall speed. And what the GFC 600 does is under speed protection activates as it lowers the nose a couple of about two knots and allows that stick shaker to come off and then basically maintains that attitude so the autopilot will not stall the airplane. Right. And you know, it seems like this has the, uh, the potential to really breathe new life into this older category of older jets. Right. I I mean, an older category, but a wildly popular uh, category of jets that are predominantly flown single pilot. Right, and um, and it seems like that would have the potential to really increase the dispatch reliability since, you know, this is new equipment and it's, you know, some of the legacy stuff is, is hard to hard to keep service. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thanks so much for the uh, the flight demo. It's yeah. always, a, always a pleasure flying with you. Yeah, thanks for flying with us, Dave. My pleasure.